Hey people, show the 225. Um, currently doing a water change on it. The other day I trimmed a bunch of plants in my 30. I say a bunch of plants, I trimmed everything, but I kept the wisteria I trimmed. My thought was, you know, I'm just going to go and throw it away. So until I get my big lights, I thought maybe I could go in and put it in my 225 just so I can start plants growing. Um, all I've got right now is uh, the you know T5 HO uh, 48 inch, but you know it might not be enough for some uh, some wisteria. Uh, I mean the worst thing that could happen is it dies, you know, which I was going to throw it away anyway. So why not put it in here and see see what happens? So I'm going to do that um, while I'm doing this water change. When I, when I work deeper in this tank, I actually have to have it drained down so I can reach down into it um, because the, uh, the uh, tank's so deep, I don't have long enough arms to reach down to the bottom. So as I'm doing water changes, that's why I do stuff like that. Um, so after I get it down to level, I, uh, I can work in it. But what I really want to show in this video is my 30 gallon. So let me uh, run in there and show you what I've got. So here's the 30 gallon and it's doing really well. It's been now a little bit over a month. I set up a DIY CO2 system. The first bottle I really don't think was a good mix. I think I might have put too much yeast in so it ran out really quick or or something I, I don't know it, it just didn't seem like the plants have done much well I re uh, redone the solution after about three weeks and so this is uh, the uh, fourth week of the DIY being on but a new bottle as of last week last Friday now I've got plants purling let me see if I can zoom in here try and use the tripod so I'm not so shaky um, you can see right there kind of under that tetra or that rasbora now it's out of the deal but you can see those bubbles coming off that uh, it's a nubus that the bubbles are coming off of so uh, pretty cool there um, roughly right now it's uh, it's 1230 my uh, my pump for my reactor does not come on until 10 with my lights so you know it's only been on for two and a half hours and I've already got those purling that heavy you know they've got another like five some hours to go um, so that's pretty crazy but uh, over here that's all the Westeria that, uh, that I cut off so that big bunch right down here is where I planted that Glosso you can start actually seeing it over the rocks and uh, since I've been using the DIY CO2 um, this last week that stuff has actually started showing real signs of growth so you know super excited about that but uh, that's what I got I, I just wanted to kind of show off that stuff um, you know not, not a big thing in there but uh, some action happening I do have a Quite a few baby rabbit snails coming in, so uh, pretty cool about that. Got got a couple given to me, and uh, now it seems like they're having their own babies. The uh, you can kind of see it over here on this uh, this side, about right where the numbers for me are. But uh, in the video when I post it, it won't be there. But um, the that's where my tiger lotus lily pad was. Um, it kind of dropped all of its leaves and everything, but uh, this week with the DIY, the CO2 running, it's uh, it's put on a lot of new leaves. Even that uh, crypt right there, those things were fairly, you know, over the nubus, and now they're almost hit the top. Um, so that's pretty crazy. So I think the uh, CO2 is working this mix anyway um that wisteria up the very top 
it's actually turning a, a, a shade of kind of pinkish purple on the leaves. Um, I'm contributing that to not only the, the highlighting, but also the CO2 because I hadn't had that before. But just a little show of what's going on. So let me know what you guys think. Talk to you later.